If we do not take heed and make sure that our planet is alive then, there is a possibility that we could lose the only home that we have. A family should be able to live in a home that is most suited for them and without a healthy environment, the home becomes a toxic place where no one is able to thrive. We are the Charles Darwin Group and here are some ways how to save Mother Earth. How to save energy around the home. Switch lights off when not in use. Every day almost everything that we use consume electricity. So that switch off appliances when not used so that you can save up to 10% on electricity caused by unplugging devices when not in use. Second is save on refrigeration. If you have a second fridge and use it just for drinks, switch it off when not in use. Always remember that conserve energy to preserve future. Use transportation mindfully. Walking is more sustainable than driving by reducing the amount of carbon dioxide produced. Less work and money will be needed to fix the impairment. Consequently, this money could go into other local requirements instead. If you are in a bad mood, go for a walk. If you are still in a bad mood, go for biking. If more people choose to walk as a means of transportation, it will reduce air pollution which can lead to lower rates of cancer and asthma. Walking or hiking also allows for more interactions with nature, which has also been shown to improve mental health. Save water. I after I brush my teeth, I empty the bottles and the one use feed. Then after I raise, I put them in an empty container container so that the water is not wasted. Another one is use fluorescent. Fluorescent is commonly used to provide illumination uh, for settings such as a uh, commercial lighting, uh, industrial lighting, classroom lighting, and retail lighting. And one of the best benefits ng paggamit for using fluorescent itself is lighting comes from each efficacy and overall a fluorescent normally offers a 25 to 35 percent savings in the amount of energy use so in our house we use two fluorescent for us to save energy of the electricity for less consumption. I will show you how I reuse my reusable products at home. Reusable bottle. After it's load it is exhausted, you can still use it, we just wash it well and fill the bottle with water and put it in the refrigerator and there we have cold water to drink. Another reusable product is plastic container. 
you can reuse it again just wash it well and it can be used as container for leftover foods use less tissues the use of tissues is normal for us but how can we really help save the earth there are the sample tips you can do let's not use tissues anymore but just bring a towel that you can use right away you don't have to waste tissue waste segregation is the grouping of waste into different categories each waste goes into its category at the point of dumping or collection but sorting happens after dumping or collection segregation of waste ensures pure quality material Reduce landfill impact. Segregating your waste allows your business to recycle more items, preventing them from ending up in landfills. This, in return, reduces your overall impact on the environment. Use eco-friendly plastic bottle instead of buying a bottled water which is disposable. I have a bottle of Mountain Dew of 1.5. I recycle it so that I won't be a waste to benefit from it rather than just being stuck. I'm going to start making it to recycle well. See what the outcome will be. This is the result that is made when a recycled bottle can also plant what you want to plant. Consume less or what we call less consumption. Uh, consume less or less consumption means that one is able to get more value out of their purchases while also reducing the amount uh, spent in products each week or a month. It is also often comes in the form of buying items on sale or purchasing in a bulk as well as recycling and reusing products. For me, I used to write down my list before I go to the market and that is my means of less consumption. Another one, I use this bag when I go to the market. Tree planting is the process of transplanting tree seedlings, generally for forestry, land reclamation, or landscaping purpose. It differs from the transplantation of larger trees in arboriculture and from the lower cost but slower and less reliable distribution of the seeds. The sustainable benefits of tree planting are more oxygen in our air, more natural gases sinks and reduce greenhouse gases, natural habitats for endangered animal species, dependable salaries and careers around the world, healthier soil and natural humidity control, that we will surely benefit them by the next generation. Wherever forests have not been mowed down, wherever the animal is recessed in their quiet protection, Wherever the earth is not barefooted or four-footed life, that to the white man is an unbroken wilderness. But for us, 
There was no wilderness. Nature was not dangerous but hospitable, not forbidding but friendly. Our fate sought the harmony of man with his surroundings. The other sought the dominance of surroundings. For us, the world was full of beauty. For the other, it was a place to be endured until he went to another world. But we were wise. We knew that man's heart, away from nature, becomes hard.